So this is a purple 145 heifer. Um, had some folks ask me, how do you tell if a heifer's gonna calve or a cow's gonna calve? And the first thing, it's harder, it's more difficult to tell with a heifer, but with a cow, everything's, its body's already kind of known what's going on. Uh, so that the symptoms usually show up, they come to their milk faster and those kinds of things. She calved yesterday. But the main thing is, are they springing? And you can see right here around the, uh, the vulva area, I'm not sure what the proper term is. I'm not a vet, but uh, they will start to droop there quite a bit. Let me get caught up to right here. She just had a great little calf there. I'm super excited. Always want to make sure they nurse. But uh, springing right here, she's starting to droop. Her tail's in the way, but you can see she's swollen. Um, <clears throat> she's starting to, her, her body's starting to expand and get ready for pushing that calf out. There you go, you can kind of see she's, she's drooping there quite a bit. And uh, a, uh, you could look at a, at a young heifer and they won't be they won't have that at all. Sometimes cows, they just, they stay a little more expanded. A uh, little bit more room there. But the other thing is udder. And uh, <clears throat> on these, uh, seems like most folks have a little bit too much milk in their cow herd. And a uh, little bit too much udder. These cattle, they, well, the heifer, she's a heifer is the main thing. The cows will have a lot more udder on them, but... Um, on a cow, it's pretty easy. The udder's starting to fill up, milk's coming in, and uh, usually it, it could do that for, you know, a month earlier. This heifer started to spring a little about a month earlier. I've been watching her for a while. But uh, she she has swollen up in her udder, and uh, she's of course she's been nursed down. This little guy's working on her. But, uh, you know, a cow's really gonna puff up. So those are really the two things that we're looking for is uh you know the udder swelling and then what we call spring in here and uh those are two signs they're getting ready to calve uh hopefully they're in good body condition you want them in a in body condition five at calving and uh, that's super important that way they get bred back and have enough fat to go through the winter and carry that calf six if you're fall calving like i am probably not going to hurt them at all maybe even a seven if you really like your cows or you're really having a good year we've been pretty dry but uh, she, she ought to be able to do it. She's sore, she's kinda limping. Anyway, I moved the cows out of here yesterday. We're gonna take them back over up to that corner and push them out over there. And uh, I wanna get that done before that calf runs off in the woods. But that's what we look for when they're calving, springing and utter. <laughs>